Boogie the Goos, and today we'll be continuing Nana. Okay, last time in Nana, a lot happened actually. Okay, so first of all, right off the bat, Hachi lost her job. The place closed down, so she has to find a new job on top of already not having money, but then she did end up getting money. She got 322,000 yen to be exact. Uh, 300,000 from her mom and 22,000 from her job, I'm pretty sure. And so yeah, the bass player's name is Sheen and he's only 15, so that's pretty dang young. And we got a lot of Sachiko last episode, but I don't know, we it, we may be done with her. I don't know. I've got mixed feelings with her because obviously I don't want her to get in the way of Shoji and Hachi, but at the same time she's like super nice. So I don't know, it's kind of rough. But the way it ended makes it seem like we may be done seeing her, but I, I don't really know where we're going with that. Yasu was chilling at the door when both Nanas arrived to their apartment. So that's so cool. So he did move. So that's what we saw. The three or four episodes back, when we saw the opening music playing, but she was just mumbling it, that's when Yasu was like, okay, this is it. And that's when he hurried up, he packed his stuff, and it looks like he moved. That was the moment he moved to Tokyo, I think. So yeah, he's he's officially here now. And it was cute to see Nana hugging him, and then she started crying. I, I still think she looks at him as a father figure, which is super cool. Because she doesn't really have, she's never had one, so... This is super cool. Yeah, I don't know. The whole, literally, the entire gang is here. Gang. I keep calling them a gang. The entire band is here. I mean, for the most... Every slot of the band is full. I mean, we got the tambourine player, too. <laughs> so, everyone's here. Just, no, just not Ren. All right, yeah. And by the way, this is episode 11.5. So... I don't know if that's an error and it's not actually 11.5. I'm not too sure. I haven't seen a 0.5 before, so I don't really know what's about to happen. This could be another, like, recap. I, I don't know. So, yeah, we'll see. So, I'm going to start this at 3, 2, 1, what bit? Hey, Nana Komatsu. Remember the first time we met? <gasps> oh, Wow, complete opposite. This is cool. This, this is the first time we've we've had Nana do the like overhead thing in the beginning. Okay. Is it actually eleven point five? Oh, the and welcome to Junko's place. Hey, how's it going? Shouldn't it be Nana's place? Nope, this is my place. I'm the one who's in charge here. Yeah, sure you are. And I gotta tell you guys, there's been a lot of hard work on this show lately. What? Having a small part. No, what's tiring me out is Nana. She's why it's such hard work. Oh yeah. Who's the one who always has to look out for her? Yeah, me. That's what the heck is this? She's been nothing but a big pain in the butt. Okay. Uh, it is eleven and a half. Okay. <laughs> what is happening? Okay. Okay. It is some type of recap show. But then she'll complain that she doesn't get to see him ever. Like, bruh. Nana's heart is in the right place, and she doesn't mean to cause trouble. But sometimes, she just can't help getting herself into a big mess. But instead of being a burden on us, she ended up finding someone new. That other Nana. Yeah, I know, but that's how things go with our Nana. <laughs> this is so weird. Hachi's pretty cute. <laughs> so your names are I guess we are gonna see this guy again, but in flashback. Kind of, yeah. <gasps> no, not that face. It's that is. Oh my gosh, that's the cutest face in the entire. <laughs> oh, 
Oh man, she's so cute with that face. Oh, she's so cute. Oh my god, I forgot to tell you. The other Nana's putting a band together. She's like a real singer. Yeah, it's kind of cool, don't you think? It is cool. This is so weird. I gotta like it though. Actually, it's not a lotus, it's a red flower. We'll make this a night you'll never forget. Ah. And this is where they piss all the neighbors off. <laughs> Was, wait, is this cigarettes called Blackstone? I'm gonna have to go back and look at that. It looked like the cigarettes were called Blackstone. Okay, this is the credit scene for that episode. I think nine. Okay. Oh, okay. Ooh, Sheen. Oh yeah. Oh, we do get to see Lip Kiss again. How else can I thank you? Don't throw that on the ground. Honestly. Thank you, Hachiko. I guess they kiss more than once, boys. Yeah. Dude, he's so cool. Sleep. There are lots of law firms right here in Tokyo. Getting to hear the other Nana sing for the first time, managing to find a new member of the band. Seems like there's something new happening to Nana every single day, doesn't it? Yeah. And I bet Shoji feels like he's been left out of everything. Isn't that right? Well, he's got Sachiko. <laughs> yeah. Right, right. And this Sachiko's real. Yup. I'm Sachiko Kawamura. It's nice to meet you. Dude, Sachi guys are really cute. You imagine she looks up, he's gone. <laughs> he actually got on. That'd be so funny. Bro, he's looking good, too. This was Junko's place. Junko's. Oh snap. Wow. Okay. <laughs> was that the entire? <laughs> that was the entire episode. <laughs> okay. Cool. Okay. This was a weird episode. Okay. I need to see something. This. Okay. This is clearly a recap episode. Okay, I need to go back. When was the last recap? It was episode six. Let me check. Six was the recap episode, right? Okay, yeah, the last episode was just episode six. And it was a recap. This is episode 11.5. And it's also a recap, so it's just interesting how come now they're deciding to make it 0.5 rather than the entire episode itself. I mean, it's cool. This was, it was different. It was like fourth wall breaking too. Cause they like mentioned that they're like, it's like a show or something. And they're calling it uh Junko show <laughs> or Junko's place. So th is this now the recap episodes? Is it going to be Junko like narrating the show? Like it, through like their perspective at the, at the pub or bar or whatever. So does that also mean, I mean, okay. The beginning was cool though. Every time the show starts, we hear it through Nana Kate's perspective of like mentioning, Hey Nana, do you remember this? But now it's, we heard it, this is the first time I think we heard it through Nana's perspective. Of saying, Hey Nana, and, but this time she doesn't believe in fate. She believes it's all coincidence. Like complete opposite is too, I think it was from what, because Nana K thinks it was all like destined to happen or something. Like it was fate. But she says it's all a coincidence. Or like it was all... Yeah, she's saying it was nothing more than a coincidence. Okay, that's kind of funny. It's kind of, it's clearly this is an Easter egg, but look at it. If you read, okay, you see this? This is Yasu's cigarette. They're called black, well, wait. 
It looks like it says black stone, but it's not. It's black S T O. Like I I E. But that's no. Is that man? It doesn't. I'm assuming it's. It's supposed to. It looks like it says black stone, but I think it's supposed to be black stogie or something. Black. I think so. So I think that's supposed to be like an Easter egg. But yeah. Okay. So. Yeah, it's just cool. It was it was literally just a recap. So there's not much to really talk about here, but what it does mean though is the whole band's together now. And last time we had a recap episode, we had kind of a drastic change because that was from we had a recap after both Nanas met, right? After we got both backgrounds of both Nanas, then we had uh, a recap episode. So now that the whole band's together, we're having a recap episode of everything that happened up to that point. So I'm assuming from here on out, we'll be doing band-related stuff for a little bit, like maybe our first couple shows or something, because literally the entire band is here. So because of that, I'm assuming music will start... We'll start playing music. And does that also mean... Well... No. Hachi still needs a job. Hopefully something in the band she can get, like like I said from last time. But I don't know. This, is, this was a cute episode. I kind of liked it. Like, it's Junko Place and says... And I think it was... Who was it? I think it, I think it was Kyosuke who said, Wait, so there's going to be another one of these? And then Juin was like, It's all up to what the Demon Lord says or something like that. I don't know. This is cute. But yeah, this was a recap episode. I liked it. And this is kind of cool. If, if these are what the recaps are like from now on, where it's like June is like, it's like through the pub's perspective of like what's going on, that'd be kind of cool. Because then if it happens again. No, yeah, I don't know. Are we ever going to get a perspective of like, it's going to be the band, like if maybe next arc or something will be all about like June and Kyosuke and Shoji and like this group. Then we'll have like a narration from the band side of what's going on with like June and Kyosuke and you know what I mean? That would be kinda cool too. I don't I don't know, maybe. Who knows? But yeah, this is probably gonna be the shortest non episode. Cause unlike last recap episode, there was like five minutes of new something, I'm pretty sure. I think. In this there's it was entirely recap. We did get some like the coolest shots of like June and like the fourth wall breaking and all that. That was kinda cool. So yeah, Epis, this was 11.5. <laughs> Super weird. And yeah, we did see both Nanas kissing again, so I guess that's cool. <laughs> so yeah, I guess I'm in here. Interesting episode. I liked it. Cute. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed, and thanks for watching.